Hey guys, this is going to be the last video before Christmas or the holiday, so I hope you will have a great rest of the week. Today we'll be making Elsa. First you want to mix the skin tone, then start sculpting the face. If you haven't seen any of my other doll tutorials, I do recommend checking those out, just because I do give different tips in each video and go into depth with the process a bit more in some of them, so it might be a good idea, especially if you haven't made it all before. And if you have any questions about the tools and materials I use, or the hair I'm going to be using, please check out the basics videos I've been posting. I also made one on baking, so if you're not sure about baking, pre-baking and stuff like that, check those out. As always, I used a bunch of different pictures of Elsa from different angles and used these as a reference when sculpting. If you want to get an idea of the amount of pictures I used, you can check out the Maleficent video in there or in the info box of that video. I did post a link to my blog where I posted the collage I'd made with pictures of Angelina Jolie and Maleficent when sculpting that doll.
Once I was about happy with the face, I pre-baked. After pre-baking, I added some more clay to the forehead and I also added clay to the back of the head. Then pre-baked again, made the ears and added those. I then made a sketch and an armature and the way I made the armature was the same way as in my corpse sprite tutorial and for the body I'm just going to quickly go with that but if you want to see how to sculpt the hands I used the same technique as in my Pocahontas tutorial and then again if you check out the Pocahontas or the corpse sprite video I sculpted the body basically the same way. For her hair, I used a mix of alpaca and silk fibers, and I do have a video about the different materials and the different types of fur I use, so if you want, you can check out that as well. For this doll, I added the hair before painting the facial details, which is a bit different from what I usually do, but I did this because I added the hair late at night, and so it would have time to dry during the night and be ready for me to style it the next morning, Whereas if I'd painted the facial details that night, I wouldn't have had time to add the hair. And so I'd had to wait for the glue to dry the next day before I could move on. For the face, I used a mix of my watercolor pencils as well as pen pastels and soft pastels. I also used acrylic paint for the eyeliner and the reason why I didn't use more acrylic paint, which I usually do, is because Elsa has a softer appearance or more details to her face than a lot of the other cartoon characters and so to get a more realistic appearance I focused on using the colored pencils and the pastels. I did seal it with a matte glaze before adding the freckles and just correcting the final details and I also sealed it with a matte glaze before adding the renaissance wax. For the outfit I just made a really quick version and basically just wrapped fabric around her and glued it together as I went. I did choose to give her more flowy dress than what she has in the movie, but if you don't like that, you can definitely keep it more true to the actual character. I just wanted a more princessy feel. I then wrapped some ribbon around the chest 
and added some glitter. And to attach the glitter, I just used watered down glue. Before adding glitter to the rest of the dress, I styled her hair and I'm sure you can find a tutorial on how to make an actual Elsa braid, but I just made a side braid and styled the hair in the front to kind of look like it does in the pictures. I also used watered down glue to act like a hairspray. For her shoes I just painted a really simple version again using acrylic paint and if you want it to be more detailed or more true to the movie you can definitely do that as well. Lastly I just added some star shaped glitter to her hair instead of the snowflakes and for the dress I first sprayed it with a fabric stiffener which makes the fabric a bit sticky before it dries, then sprinkled it with glitter, sprayed it with the fabric stiffener to seal it and that's it.